square up and get ready. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 self-defense martial arts styles. For this list, we're ranking various schools of martial arts training and thought specifically those where self-defense tactics are most promoted and utilized. If someone comes at you with a weapon, one of the best moves is the basic wrist throw. These guys are so perfect with their form, you notice that they barely use any of their own power. We're not necessarily targeting the best or most effective martial arts styles, but rather those that focus most on keeping the practitioner out of harm's way. Number 10. Arnis, also known as Kali. <laughs> Self-preservation is key to the origins of this Filipino martial arts style, which is also known as Kali or Eskrima. Regardless of the term you use, they each basically refer to the usage of some manner of weapon for self-defense, with the emphasis being on techniques with blades, knives, or sticks. <laughs> Kali also happens to be the national sport and self-defense discipline of the Philippines. The awareness that they've got to have to be able to expand their awareness into that millisecond of what they're actually doing and see, you know, pick the angle, pick the timing, be able to defend and counter at the same time. As such, Arnis brings with it a rich heritage of self-preservation techniques, which also includes grappling, joint locks, and hand-to-hand -hand combat oftentimes with improvised weapons. Number 9. Judo How's that? Fine, just fine. The term judo translates to gentle way in Japanese and is a form of martial arts which emphasizes tosses and throws, and which are utilized in order to subdue or otherwise immobilize an opponent. Oftentimes, judo involves using an opponent's own center of balance against them, forcing a takedown or choke without the use of traditional fists or palm strikes. These latter elements, while a part of choreographed judo training and are also known as a kata, are not allowed in competitive judo matches because of the discipline's primary focus of earning an opponent's submission. He can get one more penalty up there against a Krushvili, and he drops down for the Sienagi again. Gotta be careful of the Shimiwaza. Is the strangle on? Oh, he's turned into the hole down. He's tapped out. Number eight, Hapkido. It allows the person to kind of watch his attacker and kind of manipulate them based off of their uh, premonitions and or movements. This Korean martial art incorporates a wide variety of elements, as well as techniques from other martial arts into its discipline. A sort of best of approach to self-defense. I notice there's someone behind me. I turn first, then attack. Hapkido takes from both the grappling and striking ends of the martial arts spectrum, while placing particular emphasis on leverage, distance, and positioning to properly redirect the force of a potential opponent. Performing strikes and kicks in a circular motion is also indicative of the Hapkido discipline. The name itself can be literally translated to the joining energy way, lending further credence to Hapkido's notion of the coordinated and harmonious flow of energy. It's all about reversals and countering momentum. Number 7. Aikido The next martial art on our list also deals with harmony and energy, although this Japanese discipline takes its notion of universal harmony even further by stressing the safety of both the defender and attacker whenever possible. Okay, I was able to block it and come with a Nikkyo and say to him, hey, my man, relax, calm down, okay? He felt a bit of pain here and that was enough for me. I didn't even have to take him down all the way or anything. That was enough for him to say, all right, mate, all right, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. The Aikido philosophy stresses the shifting of balance and using an opponent's momentum against them before subduing attackers via a joint lock or throw. 
Famous practitioners of Aikido include action star Steven Seagal, who has utilized aspects of the discipline in many of his films. Although Seagal's methods tend to be fairly liberal with that whole well-being of your attacker idea. Number 6. Jeet Kune Do Kick me. The origins of our next discipline stem from arguably the most famous martial artist of all time, the immortal Bruce Lee. My style? You can call it the art of fighting without fighting. Jeet Kune Do is based on Lee's philosophy of martial arts, or fighting without fighting, which was influenced by the Wing Chun idea of anticipating the attacks of and then attacking an opponent. <laughs> Lee's Jeet Kune Do demanded graceful, fluid body movements, never wasting energy yet achieving maximum results. And speaking of results, one need only bear witness to the influx of martial arts cinema in the 1970s to see just how impactful Bruce Lee and Jeet Kune Do have been to the martial arts and popular culture. <laughs> Kyokushin. The karate craze that swept America in the 1980s, thanks to films like 1984's The Karate Kid, traces its martial arts roots back to this Japanese forebear, which was instituted in 1964 by Korean Japanese master Matsutatsu Oyama. Kyokushin was the first full contact discipline of karate, stressing hard work and dedication in an ever-growing search for self-improvement and enlightenment. So, that's what you call karate, eh? Indeed, the term Kyokushin itself can be translated as the ultimate truth, a notion that combines both physical fitness and mental acumen into one challenging but rewarding physical lifestyle. Number 4. Wing Chun <laughs> Distance be damned, for this next martial art is a self-defense technique which minimizes distance in favor of intimate close quarters combat. There is no minimum distance that even so close, if you have the right structure you can receive force, then you are really fighting close in. Wing Chun emphasizes a relaxed body structure, a read in the wind if you will, proper balance and the elimination of wasted energy and tension. The discipline's origins date all the way back to the era of China's Qing Dynasty and the Southern Shaolin Monastery. The fist has two sides. Watch. <coughs> the palm has three sides. <coughs> its focus on minimal movement for maximum effort would be adopted later by Bruce Lee's Jeet Kune Do philosophy after he learned it from Shipu Yip Man, who was portrayed by martial arts star Donnie Yen in 2008's Ip Man. Number 3. Muay Thai The Thai discipline at the number 3 spot on our list is one of the most visceral and physical martial arts in the world, a form of self-defense and a combat sport that stresses the entire body as a weapon. Muay Thai, also known as the art of eight limbs, is notable for its intense training of the body's shins and forearms, which are designed to serve as armor protection against blows. Meanwhile, strong kicks and the knees are utilized to disable an opponent, before strikes and grappling skills take the attacker down for the count. Number 2. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I'm gonna lower myself a level, control his hips, not his high armpits, come down, connect, lift him up a little bit and fold him down. Size isn't everything when it comes to this next martial art, as this Brazilian offshoot of traditional Japanese Judo seems to follow the old adage, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. 
Indeed, leverage and proper technique are key when utilizing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, with the ultimate goal of submission being linked primarily to grounded joint locks and chokeholds designed to incapacitate an opponent. <laughs> The origins of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu can be directly traced back to brothers Carlos and Elio Gracie, whose extended family descendants continue to teach, practice, and compete within the discipline to this day. So the Gracie philosophy, the Gracie way to approach the situation is to manage the distance and therefore manage the damage. Before we karate chop our way to the top pick, here are some honorable mentions. <laughs> Number one, Krav Maga. Karate! Krav Maga! Krav Maga? Israeli karate. Less haya, more haya, hami! Hungarian Israeli martial artist Emi Lichtenfeld developed the intense and effective self defense style known as Krav Maga for Israel's military in the 1940s. Foregoing any ritual or pomp in favor of realistic reactionary movements, the system was designed to be utilized in real-life situations. Boxing, wrestling, judo, and aikido are a big part of Krav Maga, a martial arts style designed to counteract and nullify a lethal threat with brutal force. Krav Maga students are encouraged to avoid conflict whenever possible, but to efficiently eliminate any threat with swift action to the most vulnerable parts of the body, including the eyes, throat, and groin. Once again, Krav Maga! Ha, he, ha, he. Oh, quit going for my groin! No groin, no Krav Maga! Oh, 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 oh. Hello, groin! Do you agree with our list? Give him a beating! What are your favorite styles of martial arts? For more ass-kicking top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.